numbers as I look back at it. I know it's been a while, but we're here. Um, I'm Cardell Devin, Raymond Lyons. Um, the Wizards about to round two, I guess you could say, against the um, Clippers. Um, what are your thoughts as far as, uh, you know, the Clippers took a beating the other night? Mm -hmm. um, Wizards coming off a loss of mind. Uh, what, what do you think the Wizards need to do to probably would help, you know, hold off a piss off thing? Um, I'm, this is not the time for blind optimism or <laughs> anything like that. It's, it, it's going to be a repeat of a week and a half ago. You know, the, the, the Wizards aren't a very good team. The Clippers are. They coming off an embarrassing loss. You know, that's all the bullets and war material they need. And guys like Kawhi, PG, Pat Bev, they don't need much to get up to begin with. So, you know, I just just do your best. Do your best. Like, hey, I, I can't disagree with you. Um, I'm not even looking at the stars today. I'm gonna look at Montrezl as well. Mm -hmm. um, Thomas Bryant out. I don't. He's really the only kind of high motor guy that can kind of match him and try to contain him. And we've seen Herrera literally win games this year by mm -hmm. himself because of the energy he brings off the bench. Um, literally, can get 20 and 10 at night off the bench, which is a huge addition for any team. Absolutely. I think with the Wizards not having Thomas Bryant, I think he's posed as a monster game because I just don't think they have the bigs inside. I think Rui will be game, mm -hmm. but other than that, I, I just can't see a lot of the bigs willing to bang with him. Who, you know, he pretty much plays starting minutes for most of the right. game to try to, you know, contain him or whatnot. And honestly, I think he'll probably draw a double, which will make it easier for Paul and Kawhi to do what they do. Um, even though Kawhi's not shooting well from the outside of the season, he's only shooting around 31%. Mm -hmm. Even Patrick Beverly, he's throughout his career, he's been pretty much between 36 and 40% three point shooter, so he's been pretty good, but on um, for three. But this year, he's struggling, you know, 29%. And then also you got to get Lou Williams coming off the bench, man. Like oh, yeah. the Wizards on top of getting killed inside after most of the season, then they get killed from the point guard spot religiously. Um, so, um, you know, I know your Smith is game. He's he going to try, but that's a different animal with Lou Williams coming to the game. He's running the point. And, you know, Isaiah Thomas, what he brings offensively, defensively, is just is, is, is the floodgates open. You know what I'm saying? Just to be honest, just to keep it real. So. Um, I, I, I'm looking at those two. I'm looking at the bench model to come in and just kind of go to work on the Wizards. Now, if the Wizards get high, bird hands, deal, they going off, they hit some shots from all over the place, it can, can kind of be a repeat of what we saw against the Rockets early in the season where they just going back and forth. But I, th I just think the Clippers, with the way they can clamp down on defense, you know, and how pissed off they are just coming off that embarrassing loss because you can't be a championship team literally and then – get punished like that by another contender team. You got to try to write that. That's what championship teams do. Right. Yeah. They, they write that ship immediately. I just think it is possibly going to be a long night for the Wizards. Yeah, and, um, and I agree with you bringing up uh, Bertans. Like he, when he's hitting shots, it's their energy is is up. Uh, a lot of times it really doesn't translate to defense because like we've been saying each show, they struggle defensively all year. Mm -hmm. um, they they have their spots where they, where they choose to you know, dig down and rebound and, and things like that. But um, Bertans and Bill is basically their offense. Um, and again, Thomas Bryant being out is going to hurt. He's uh, a rim to rim runner and he can match uh, Harrell's energy. But, you know, that's that's going to be a gaping hole for them because I really don't see another person on their roster that can replace what Bryant brings. Now, he, he can't do what he, he can't do it the way Bryant does it. But I think Rui, what he's been doing, Throughout the season, I think he's he's capable of getting about twenty and eight or something. They're going to need yeah, him yeah. too. And I think last game they they've been starting on that center. You know, mm -hmm. I think Brooks is trying to find anybody to kind of you know fill that void, and he's he's been game. It's just that man, it, it's tough being a six seven six eight center, and even in today's league. Um, and the thing that kind of compromises the Wizards' defense is the three point shooting. And as much as you may make them, if you're elite. You know, with 40%, that's elite in the NBA. You miss a six out of 10 shots, that's pretty much jump starts the opposing team's fast break. You know, his long rebounds and stuff. And it's hard for Bees to try to hustle back and get back. So naturally, he's going to be outnumbered. And that's when they pay the price. So um, the Wizards just have to be on the string defensively. And that's open for a lot because they've been proven that they, they can do that consistently throughout the season. So um, we're going to wait and see. 
We'll be back at halftime, and uh, we'll give you first half analysis when we return.